Folks, I'm Johnny Valentine with Gain Solar. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if this kind of content helps you. And if you're thinking about installing a solar arc power system and you want to talk to a professional like me, you can contact me through this video. I can help you with your design. I can sell you the material. If you're within my range, I can even do your install. So this video is all about what is the minimum width you can do a Solark 15K system. I would recommend, there it is right there. No need to look any further. That would be six feet of space for a stack of batteries. With these batteries, if you're creative, all these 19 inch server rot batteries are pretty much the same footprint. You could go all the way up to your heart's desire. A lot of people are always asking me, why do I not put the batteries underneath the inverter? And the reason is because there's some code requirements as to how far your batteries can stick out. So that code is six inches. Let's see if we can, could have done it. You're not supposed to stick out six inches further and that would have been seven. So wouldn't have been able to do it. Now, if you cantilevered your, or, or if you shimmed out your inverter or your whole space, or you built some kind of a shelf or something, so the battery actually set in a little bit more, but technically from a code standpoint, you would have to be leaning over. They don't want you to be in a situation where you're leaning over this stuff to work on this stuff, since this is considered switch gear. And obviously that down there is switch gear, but this is too. Now, if you're doing a single 15K, you can probably squeeze it into a three foot area, right? But if you've got pipes that are gonna be coming in, you wanna, Maybe you want to pick up other boxes on the back side of the wireway, which is something we usually do. If the, you mount the solar arc on an exterior wall, you, you're popping through with conduits on the back side. A four foot, I find, really gives you a lot of room. Uh, that's a power distribution block down in there in its natural habitat. You guys want to know what that does? You can watch other videos on how to distribute out the output of your solar arc to different, different uh, load centers. But this is a, a four foot wire way. And the reason I have the solar arc on this side is because, because the customer may wanna come in and add another solar arc later on. So these solar arcs are about 20 inches, 19 and some change is the width of them. But the, you can see that I've got room to add another solar arc 15K. And then I've got my two inches of clearance, which you really don't need much clearance at all on the sides. I think it's two inches because these are top venting solar arcs. Uh, these systems do get tall though once you throw the transfer switch in the bottom but there's nothing wrong with putting a transfer switch down low like that just make sure it's never going to you know get wet or flood or anything like that this building doesn't even have water in it uh, but there's our bypass transfer switch our four foot wire way and the solar 15k inverter with room for another inverter I want to encourage everybody to give yourself plenty of room if you're going to be stacking these solarks. This is a job I came in and had to kind of rescue, but you can see how tight they were with three, the three foot wire way, a 90, and then I've got a two foot wire way right there. And that's in a corner. So that's getting a transfer switch in there, a bunch of PDBs. Guys, give yourself plenty of room. Give yourself at least four feet if you're going to stack solarks show you another one where the guy had plenty of room this is two 200 amp services passing through two four foot wireways so that's plenty of room of right course there. the battery it's hard to get around taking up some floor space with the battery but you can always go vertical with your battery so uh you could fit a, a dual stack system in six feet of wall space with a four foot wireway transfer switch on the bottom uh, but you would have a very busy wireway. So if you did that, make sure you plan out your wireway. Most of the systems that we do with double stack, we're doing a lot more, a uh, lot, a lot longer wireway. But you, you, he could do it. I mean, we could, we could make it work. It'd be a little bit of a battle. I'd probably move these PV conductors and install another power dis distribution block to combine them. Um, with the power distribution blocks, you have to make sure that you have access to the covers and the terminals after they're installed. You can't put that in there and then run a bunch of wires behind it or in front of it and bury it. I hope this video helps you. If you're thinking about doing Solark, please don't hesitate to contact me through this video. I can help you with the design. I can sell you your equipment and I can talk you through your install. 
anybody that buys a significant amount of material from me, the rest of the console is free and I talk you through the rest of your install.